You are welcome to Messiah Revelation uh, Ministry. It's an end time uh, ministry. Uh, today we are doing a video uh, on a dream that I had um, about Israeli passports. Uh, the dream was about an Israeli uh, passport, a passport of uh, an Israeli. Um, I had a dream on December 19, 2020. Uh, in the dream, um, I had um, a passport in my possession and it was an Israeli uh, passport. And I, um, I made sure that I wouldn't uh, lose uh, the passport. Uh, I don't remember um, every aspect of the dream, but what I remember very much is that I had a passport and it was an Israeli uh, passport, uh, a green uh, passport. Then I woke up and I just um, want to share with you um, the implications of uh, this dream. Uh, dreaming about uh, a, a passport. Uh, you know, a passport, if you hold a passport, it gives you an access to a country. Um, the nation whose passport you hold also uh, protects you and it also uh, gives you all the benefits of that nation. Uh, a passport is a symbol uh, of nationality and if you hold a passport of a nation, uh, you are a citizen uh, of that nation. Uh, so I believe that having a dream and holding an Israeli passport prophetically um, is very uh, significant. Um, what is the implication of holding an Israeli uh, passport? And when God speaks, he speaks speaks uh, symbolically and he speaks in parables and if you know the Bible you know that um, uh, Jacob was um, a descendant of Abraham a, a Hebrew and God changed his name to Israel and so when you're talking about the children of Jacob uh, these people are uh, the children of Israel and holding an Israeli uh, passport um, symbolically is uh, holding the identity uh, of uh, Israel and benefiting from all the advantages of being uh, a Hebrew and um, when you have a dream or a vision you also have to look at the context. I had this dream holding an Israeli passport. I had it on December 19, uh, 2020. And I recall that on December 19, 2020, uh, I did a video. And the title of the video is uh, Hebrews to Negroes. Bible and historical uh, records show that African Americans are Hebrews. I did a video, and if you watch that video, you would know that I traced um, the history of the African Americans in the United States to uh, the Bible, and um, I argue that um, they are uh, Hebrews and I also argue that um, the prophecy about uh, the sons of um, Abraham being strangers in a foreign land for 400 years refers to um, what happened to the African Americans who are the only people who were shipped to a foreign country uh, beginning in 1619 and remaining uh, for 400 years 
and that is the year 2019. And so the dream I had on December 19, 2020, the same day I did a video on the African Americans as Hebrews, uh, is very significant. And God used that dream, the dream about holding an Israeli passport to confirm that um, what I said about the African Americans, that uh, their descendants of Israel, Jacob, is confirmed and is also confirmed in a divine way, i.e. through a dream that was given to me the same day I posted the video about African Americans being descendants of Hebrews. I uh, also asserted that there are some African uh, tribes who are also descendants of Hebrews and I cited the Ashantis uh, in Ghana as an uh, example. And the dream that I had, the same day I posted this video, uh, the dream of holding an Israeli passport uh, is a confirmation that um, the analysis um, of the African Americans' history and conclusion that they are Hebrews uh, is true. Uh, it was divinely confirmed in the dream I had the same day I made that video. I have to tell you that God confirms certain pronouncements and throughout uh, this channel I've had several experiences. I recall uh, a day that I made a video um, announcing that in a vision God uh, revealed to me that the final trumpet of heaven has sounded. Uh, the day I made that video um, I had um, confirmation. It was confirmation through uh, the sun. Um, the brightness of the sun that I saw and the color of the sun that I saw that day I made the video. Um, I believe it was a divine confirmation uh, that the video I made um, is, uh, is supported by heaven and so I had that um, heavenly uh, confirmation in this case through the brightness of the sun and the sun shaking in daylight while I was walking on the street. And so the dream I had on December the 19th, 2020, about holding an Israeli uh, passport, a passport of the nation of Israel, is a divine confirmation of the video I made that African Americans who are called Negroes, um, who um, were shipped to United States in 1619, uh, are descendants of Hebrews, and they were fulfilling a prophecy in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68, where the Lord told uh, Abraham that his descendants. Uh, will be sent by ships to a foreign uh, a country. And the African Americans who are descendants of Hebrews, uh, there is hope for them because they have an access, they have a passport to Israel. And because of that, uh, the Lord will visit them as prophesied in the book of Isaiah. Uh, chapter 11 verse 12 because uh, the, the root of Jesse, the lion of the tribe of Judah and the Messiah Jesus Christ he will gather the dispersed of Judah wherever they are dispersed to in the world and he will place them uh, in the land where uh, God uh, gave them um, there is hope for the dispersed of Judah, 
wherever they are scattered to, whether they are in Jamaica, whether they are in Suriname, uh, whether in, they are in South Africa, or whether they are in the United States. But holding Israeli passport also means that there is a divine responsibility. You have to be responsible. You have to protect the passport. You have to protect your lineage. Uh, you have to protect your identity as a Hebrew. And for that, I will refer you to um, Revelation chapter 3, uh, verse 11. Let's look at Revelation chapter 3, verse 11. Um, Jesus was telling the church in Sardis, and he said, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Uh, you, ha you hold something that is very valuable. Uh, if you are a Hebrew, you are a descendant of Jacob, and you have access to uh, the nation of Israel, your Redeemer is coming. He will gather you from wherever you were scattered to. But Jesus is telling you, telling you that hold fast what you have so that nobody will take away your crown from you. So you must have an awakening, an awareness that you are a descendant of Israel, you are a Hebrew. Even though you were scattered to all the four corners of the earth, uh, you must hold on. Your redemption is coming. And the nation that scattered you will be judged consistent with chapter 15, verses 13 to 14. But hold on fast to what you have so that nobody will take away your crown. There are so many people who want to take your crown. Your crown. Um, they will distort your history and they will discourage you and they will put you down they know your identity, that you are a Hebrew. They knew your identity when they were enslaving you, when they were shipping you, and when they, they were putting chains on you. They knew your identity as a Hebrew. And they know your Redeemer will come. They understand the Bible. And your redemption is drawing nigh. And hold on fast to what you have so that nobody will take away the crown that you have, the lineage that you have, your passport, your passport to Israel, your passport to the nation of God, and your deliverance, your access to the Messiah, Jesus Christ. Hold on fast to it. And you can only hold on when you obey the commandments of God. And when you stay away from the heathen culture and the practices, wherever you are, because the Lord is saying that, come out of Babylon, my people. Hold on to what you have so that nobody take away your crown. You are a royal priest and you have a crown, you have a passport uh, to Israel. You are a Hebrew. This is the message that I have for you. As you wait, you await for the arrival of the Messiah who will redeem you wherever you are, consistent with the prophecy in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 12. Thank you very much.